In this video, we got a story to tell you about monkey feet and how to improve your hip flexors. All right, guys. So, uh, monkey feet. If you guys follow uh, Ben Patrick, knees over toes, guys, I know he's really, really popular. I uh, follow him. So back, I don't know. This is way back in October or so. I saw these advertisements about these things called monkey feet. And I got real excited about it. I thought I was gonna, you know, relive my younger days where I could dunk. I thought my hip flexors, it was what I was missing. Um, I thought this snowboarding clip binder thing would, would uh, help me during the pandemic and work out in my home gym. So I bought them. I bought uh, not only one, I bought two because I thought this would be, you know, the solution to all my problems of working out uh, without a regular commercial gym, just in my home gym here. So I bought them and they were back ordered. So I had to, I ordered them in October. I had to wait. And then I finally got them, you know, way after Christmas, sometime late, um, you know, right before the new year. And so when I get them, I'm pretty excited. And I, I made a video reviewing them, whether I liked them or not. And if you haven't seen that video, long story short, I didn't really like them because they didn't fit um, the dumbbells that I had. And it what just wasn't what I had hoped for. And so, you know, I made the video, I gave one away and then I, uh, I sold the other one to a, a local trainer here. Um, so I didn't like them. I mean, they were only good for one exercise and that was the uh, hip flexor or a knee raise. And I didn't like the way that you had to adjust it and stick your foot in there and my shoe was too big and, and all these different reasons, right? And so, I just went back to the same old way I was working out my hip flexors before. And so today I was just messing around doing my leg workout and I think I found a solution for you guys. If you guys don't want to shout out the 80 to 100 bucks for a hip, uh, for a monkey feet, uh, maybe this might be the solution to your problem. So check it out, man. Um, I'm just fooling around with it today. Um, today's a leg day. Um, what's new around here? So trying to get my legs stronger just to you know, stay active and um, that's where most of your power comes from, especially if you're gonna be a basketball player, a trainer, a coach. Um, you gotta stay on your feet and be active with your legs. So uh, I'm gonna show you the solution, possible solution. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So let's go, man. Okay, so I'm working out today and I'm usually set up over here doing, you know, Bulgarian split squats and stuff like that. And looky, looky, these soft tie loops right here, the things that I have anchoring all my bands, they might be the solution to all your problems. So when I put my monkey feet to my uh, adjustable dumbbell here, it, it didn't work. It didn't fit. But guess what? I can tie this loop around it and now oh, I can lift it. So let's see. Well, I know it works because I already tried it. So I decided to make this video to show you guys. Maybe this is the uh, solution to your problems. So it's already attached. I'll just throw it on my foot, right? And so now I can step on this uh, dumbbell a little bit. It ain't perfect. Right, so loop it in your foot. Get it around the mid part of your foot, the ankle. Get on something high. And there you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You guys get the picture? That thing's 25 pounds. This thing is rated to hold 1800 pounds these stupid little bands are designed to hold like motorcycles and back of trucks and pull boats and stuff like that so i mean did you see how easily i got in and out of that thing the monkey foot is a uh, kind of annoying you got to strap it in and i have to wear a particular shoe this thing boom <clears throat> get up on this thing not as nice because it falls out like that, but hey, this thing is a, a lot cheaper than a uh, monkey foot. So let's see if I could uh, manage this one. Get on, loop it on your leg. 
and doesn't work on both sides. Yeah, it does. And I mean, that's all it is, all right? So if I need to, if I need to switch out a, a weight, like that thing was too heavy, you know, this, these things come out so easy. Um, it gets a little tougher when you're doing the, the heavier ones, like the uh, 25 pounder there. Okay, so if you've never used these things before, right, just put it under and then loop it around. Throw your foot in. I feel like I'm in an infomercial. <clears throat> there we go. And yes, the weight wobbles, but uh, if you're doing exercise, you should be learning how to control your movement, right? So you can stand on a box, a bench, just use something to support you. And so do I feel afraid to switch from a 10 to a 25 to a, you know, Doing the full test here for you guys. So uh, I think this is a 35 pound kettlebell. A little bit harder to get into. So let's uh, see if I can get my foot in here. Does it work? Yes, it works. All right, hop on. And so will I be dunking anytime soon? Like my younger days? Ah, maybe well with the kettlebell you're banging the floor so you got to get yourself a little bit higher um but if you guys got adjustable dumbbells you know what can i do it with a power block i'm sure i could i think my leg might fall off but let's try Let's try if I go all the way. My leg might fall off or my leg might not be strong enough to lift this power block. But you could see how fast um, switching out of it is. Actually, this power block might be perfect because it's already square here. Woo! That is heavy. Slide this bad boy over here. All right. All right. Yeah. That's heavy. That's heavy. Does it work? Yes. Is it is it wobbly like crazy? Yes. Do I recommend it? Hell yes. Hell yes. Um this is this is the bag here. Um, it comes in an eight pack. Comes in an eight pack. I'll put the link in the description if you guys want it. But as you guys can see, it's not just for stupid hip flexors. I have it tied against the rig. You know, I'm doing rotational stuff with it. Okay, I have it. Um, right here on my weight rack tied to other bands and stuff so if you have a home gym or you're looking for a solution for your your high school kids you know weight rooms aren't very good at, at the high school level and uh, so especially if I'm training and I'm on the go a lot I'll have some of these with me um, in my bag just in case I need to attach the soft tie loop to a bleacher or a pole or something like that and then instantly I have something something like this to do some type of uh, you know like banded resistance stuff against a, a, a chain link fence if I'm outside or something like that okay so do I recommend these things of course I recommend these things but I've just never used them for hip flexor exercises so if you found this video helpful um, like share subscribe all of that good stuff I think they're 20 bucks or less i don't know they're definitely cheaper than uh, monkey feet go get them soft tie loops every freaking home gym or aspiring coach trainer you need to have them all right guys until next time take 14 minutes 24 seconds 
or 1% of your day to get better. Peace.